This time out is sponsored by Augie's Locker Room, located just a screen pass away from the Notre Dame campus in the Campus Shops Plaza. Augie's features the largest collection of Notre Dame football memorabilia and gifts, including rare and hard-to-find items. Check out his website at augieslockerroom.com for the latest news and items. Augie's Locker Room, a Notre Dame tradition. Practice six of spring drills in the books for Notre Dame, a rainy and cold day here in South Bend, so everything was conducted inside the Irish Athletic Center. Not a great day for the offense, to be quite frank. I, I thought the defensive line uh, controlled the offensive line most of, most of the day, and it made it really difficult for the top two quarterbacks, Tyler Buckner and Sam Hartman. They alternated between one and two. Actually, Tyler Buckner probably had more snaps with the, with the number one unit today. And a lot of it had to do with them just being under duress and frankly, the wide receiver's not catching the ball very well uh, today. I know we've talked about the progress that they've made, and they certainly have. But I think Chancey Stuckey would tell you that this was not a good day for the wideouts in terms of catching the football, a lot of drops. And some of the passes were, were difficult to catch, again, because the quarterbacks were under duress. But I don't think there's any doubt, at least today, that the defensive line was ahead of the offensive line. There are two new guards in the starting lineup, Andrew Kristoffic, and today it was Billy Shrouth. Michael Carmody appeared to have a left shoulder injury and did not participate, spent most of the, the practice session over in the pit with the, with the injured players. So, um, you know, that could be a real breakthrough for Billy Shrouth. I think most of us have considered him to be ultimately the front runner to win that starting guard job, and with Carmody opportunity to get a ton of first team reps but again it wasn't it was not a great day for the offensive line against the defensive line um, yeah. talk about some of the drops at receiver Chris Tyree playing in the slot did not look very comfortable playing wide receiver today he had a couple drops and I just think the whole pass catching route running is something that is still new to him and so it's going to take some time very impressed with Rico Flores Jr., the freshman. Uh, great size and ability and a guy that just continues to flash. I thought late in the practice, Jaden Greathouse flashed a little bit. Uh, we've heard a lot of good things about uh, Tobias Merriweather. Again, I don't think he had a great day catching the football, but he certainly made progress at Deion Colsey as well. Uh, on the back end of the defense, we saw some um, a little bit of nickel with uh, Clarence Lewis playing the nickel and actually Ryan Barnes who remains at cornerback playing some some nickel near the end of practice of three on three he made a he uh, made an interception on a throw by Steve Angeli to Braylon James so a uh, little bit of progress made for him in in that respect it's really impressive to see how Audric Estime looks physically you know last year he was a halfback in a fullback's body he is now a, a, a tailback or a halfback in a in, in a still a big body, no doubt about it. But he's really trimmed down and looks really really good. Speaking of running backs, Logan Diggs uh, has not participated since I think the first practice that that we saw. We do not have clarification on what the injury is. He went through flex, but he wasn't in uniform, and of course he he was around for the entire practice. But, uh, but, but did not participate. I think Mitchell Evans, I think we're underestimating the athlete that Mitchell Evans is. Uh, I, I saw a bit of a flash from him there. He seemed to catch the football pretty well. Jabron Payne, uh, the, the backup running back, looks like he has some ability catching the football coming out of the backfield. But overall, it, it wasn't a good day for, for all the eligible receivers uh, trying to catch the football today. So that's it from inside the Irish Athletics uh, complex center, rather. Uh, Notre Dame completes practice number six of the spring.